Right. I mean, obviously, the with the system the way it is, the we're obviously not an automatic qualifying conference, mm -hmm. um, but doesn't mean we can't get there. It doesn't mean we can't get to those games. I think last year, um, you know, we us and Boise both showed that we have those two quality teams that uh, deserve to be there. And you know, and our game was a was a heck of a game. It was a, a battle. And so I think what we've done, what we did last year, and what both our teams have done this past this past year, I mean this year, is uh, really I think really making a statement. What do you expect the mood to be uh, for this week? And you said it shifts from week to week. What do you expect the mood of the team to be this week? We gotta get up. You know, Air Force is a great team. Uh, you know, if they come out and get a win today, they've only got one loss. And so um, they do a great job with their scheme and all the things that they do. So we're going to have to get up this week prepared just the way we did this week and the you know, six other weeks prior to this week. So uh, I, don't, I wouldn't see any drop off, any drop off in the emotion or anything. We're going to be ready to go. The throw you made the last touchdown pass, the corner of the end zone, would, would you have made that throw two years ago? Because it looked like you were just throwing it to a spot and you knew he was going to be there. But there was something confident. I mean, you did that throw. It looked like <coughs> by virtue of the fact you had a lot of experience. Right. I mean, I knew. Uh, what they were playing there, I knew what we had called, so I knew that there was a shot that um, he was going to be open. And so, uh, you know, I was looking at the, the corner, see what he was going to do, and he came down, so I you know, was able to put it over the top. And, you know, I, I trust Jeremy, he knew where he was going to be. So, I mean, I probably wouldn't have made that throw, um, you know, early on in my career, but I guess the experience helps. You know, a lot of times uh, you guys get ripped for not winning, but anyway, you stop once and all that stuff. Do you think the fact that you guys just go out and win, and you know, by comparison, you're kind of boring. Your team's kind of boring. You just you, just, <laughs> you, know, you don't murder people. There's not you don't have a blue turf. There's no gimmick or anything like that. Do you think sometimes that gets overlooked because because of that? I mean, I don't know. We just go out and we're trying to win every game. Uh, you know, the other stuff we can't control. If um, you know, we're just trying to play our hardest and uh, you know, hopefully get a win each week. And I think that's all that matters. If we can end up. The rest of the season have that pyramid covered in. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's all we're really focused on. Your numbers were really good today. Did it feel like that kind of a game that you played that well, or did it feel like because of the slow start that it, it wasn't quite where you wanted to be? You know, I thought I played well um, at times, and other times I felt like I didn't. Uh, there's, I wish I had a couple throws back, but uh, you know that's just how the game is. It's hard to be perfect out there, but. Uh, you know, I thought overall we did a great job in the passing game today. And how much different do you think the game could have been without that little stretch right at the end of the half where you got those two scores? You know, who, who, who knows what could have happened. Um, I know we had momentum um, after the, we scored the first time and then with the tank, when uh, Tank got his interception, uh, that just gave us you know, even more momentum than when we drove down and scored right at the end. So, um, you know, we're fortunate that that, that was able to happen. Of the defense's streak on almost three in a row, is it more a fact of maybe the offenses weren't that great, or are those guys really coming along like some of the defenses of the past? No, those guys are playing outstanding. They, uh, you know, to have three games and only give up three points—that's <laughs> that's pretty good. So, um, and guys are have really bought into the system. They, um, you know, tr trust Coach Passion that he's going to put them in the right situation and. Uh, they're going out and executing. They're flying around, playing outstanding defense. And you've seen a few of the good defenses in the time you've been here. Any sense of how this one's coming together compared to some of the ones you've seen? I mean, there's they're up there with you know with the best defenses that we've um, you had around here. Uh, you know, they're they're playing really well. So I mean, they're hopefully they can keep playing like that. And it seems like it doesn't have the same name. You know, we had the Jerry Hughes, and then there's been like a name going back a few years. Is it different with this bunch? Maybe there's not that name. Right. You know, last year everybody knew about Jerry Hughes, and this year no one really knew much about the, you know, one certain guy in our defense. And so they're all playing together. They're playing really hard and, uh, you know, showing on the field. And it's going to be interesting to watch those guys against Air Force this week, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, it's a completely different scheme, different system than you know what what we face every day. But uh, I know Coach Passion is going to get them ready. Thanks, appreciate it. Man. Yep. Just one more. Yep. A um, couple more passes to just Josh Force today, touchdown. Um, you went to him eight times. What did you did you see something in his matchup that maybe made you target him more often? Um, well, just the coverages that they were playing really brought me to you know throwing him the way the position he's at. Um, you know, we were able to 
you know, get him the ball a little bit more today. And uh, he's a great player, and you know, it shows with what he's done today and what he's done all season. He's got great hands, runs great routes. So, um, you know, we were just taking what they were giving us, and he was able to get the ball. It seems like your rapport with him's kind of really taken it up a notch this season, has it? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, this is since he's a freshman. Um, you know, he he graduated early, was here in uh, December two years ago, or in the uh, spring two years ago. So I've been around him for a while and knew he could be a special player. And he's just he's gone out and worked hard, and uh, it's great to see that, that you know everything's working out for him.